Welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're gonna take a look at some uh, swimming footage that I've never seen before and I'm gonna give you uh, my assessment on how to make this person swimming better. I see a clip of a guy swimming in outdoor waters and I can smell trouble already and I have my experience and my take on outdoor swimming if you've never swam outdoors before. I have a lot to say on the topic, but uh, I'm going to take a look at this footage first and then uh, we can talk about it after, right? So let's take a look. Here we go. <laughs> oh man. Here's the thing, okay? When you swim indoors, you're swimming in a controlled environment. The water temperature is controlled, it's fixed. The distance from one end of the pool to the other is fixed. The, the air temperature is fixed. The quality of the water is fixed. The sa your, safe, your personal safety is fixed with lifeguards all around you. It's the best situation you can put yourself in without putting yourself in much danger as a swimmer. Now, you take all that away, and what you're left with is the wild, the outdoors. Outdoor swimming, or open water swimming as some people call it, is a totally different beast. I like to compare it to driving, okay? So like, for example, indoor swimming is like driving on a highway, okay? We've all driven on highways before, okay? It's, it's organized. There's lanes, there's rules to follow, it, the, the roads are smooth sailing. You just go from point A to point B without hurting anybody or being reckless and you'll be fine. Open water swimming is like off-road driving. I've swam in open waters. It's scary every time because it's so unpredictable just like this. You don't know what you're gonna get. Every day is gonna be different. The, the weather, it's dependent on the weather, it's dependent on the, the temperature of the water, what kind of variables are in the water, I don't know, whales, sharks, fish, debris. Pro tip, if there are boats around you, there's going to be poop around you. Those boats, those yachts that are just parked in the waters, they're dumping all their uh, poop and pee in the water. Hats off to this guy, he's just starting. I don't know why he's starting in open water. This is why I tell all my students, never start your swimming journey in open water. Start in a controlled environment, and that in controlled environment is an indoor pool. What I have to say about this guy's open water swimming... Um, so first off, he's wearing the right cap. Okay, so one thing you have to be aware of when you swim in open waters is you need to wear a brightly colored swim cap, a cap that is visible from far distances, okay? So in case you get in trouble and someone needs to spot you in the water, whether you are conscious or unconscious in the open water, they need some sort of reference point to, to spot you. And the best way to do that is to look at your swim cap, okay? So never wear a dark blue swim cap or a black swim cap in open waters, okay? You want something that contrasts that dark blue water. And it's usually like neon green, neon yellow, uh, sometimes neon pink. I would stay away from red. Red is very hard to distinguish, in, especially dark red in uh, dark blue waters. Uh, white swim caps, I would not wear a white swim cap because you know you can see it right now. The chops, you know, the white chops and the white swim cap yeah, they blend, okay? So this guy's wearing the right swim cap. And uh, his attire, I can't tell, but I assume he's wearing a wetsuit. Uh, there are so many versions. There are variations of the wetsuit. There's a full wetsuit where it covers like your, your sleeve all the way up. And then there's half up to here and up to here. I think he's wearing a wetsuit that goes up to here and goes down to his knees. Okay, there's very different variations. So definitely get a wetsuit because that wetsuit will whoop, lift your body up 
and help you be a lot more buoyant. But uh, the salt water will also help you become more buoyant as well. So you get that double effect. Salt water and the wetsuit whoop, will lift you up. Obviously he's swimming with a partner because someone's swimming or filming him as he swims. So that's a good idea. Never swim in open water alone. There's a reason why open water swimmers swim in pairs because your partner is there to look out for you. It's a second pair of eyes because you can't see anything underneath the water. Barely, okay? Unless you're in tropical water, but uh, like in these conditions, you can't see anything underneath. It's just all murky, dirty water. So the only thing you can see is what's above you when you stick your head out. And that's what you gotta do when you swim in open water. You have to adjust your swimming, your front crawl swimming, to open, opening your head out of the water. Okay, we don't do this in indoor water, indoor pools, but we do this in outdoor wa water swimming, okay? We stick our head out so we can see what's in front of us. And uh, his technique, let me see. Uh, yeah, he's barely lifting his head out, as you can see, because he's dealing with the chops. The chops are another thing. Oh, man. There are some days when you will get very little chops and other days where it's just like tidal waves and tsunamis worth of chops going against you and that's the worst it's like going it's like trying to swim uphill <laughs> it is it is swimming like uphill it's an uphill battle okay so that really hurts your visibility uh, next tip i would give is to uh wear a swim buoy Okay, uh, the swim buoy is basically a, a flotation device that trails behind you, okay? It's like a, like a little bag, and you fill it with air, and then you tie it around your waist. And the swim buoy is just uh, insurance policy, okay? Especially when you're swimming alone, which I don't recommend. But uh, in case, uh, I don't know, something happens and you can't swim, you have the swim buoy to hold on to. Okay, that's the, your buddy right there, just in case, all right? That's your, basically your kickboard in open waters, okay? And it will keep you safe if you lie on your back. And uh, yeah, it, it, you can store your, your stuff in there, like your wallet, your keys. And if you're swimming to, I don't know, an island or something, yeah, that's, that's your backpack as well. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's all my thoughts about open water swimming. It's a beast to tackle. It's not easy. And uh, it's not for the faint of heart. Trust me, if you think you know swimming, if you've only swam in indoor pools your entire life, no. <laughs> Open water, it will totally, totally throw you off, okay? You, you start from ground zero all over again as a swimmer. But that's the realest thing. That's the truest form of swimming out there, okay? So definitely challenge yourself if you are an advanced swimmer definitely go for open water soon. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. My name is Justin. Take care. Love you. Bye-bye.